Emily, there's a doctor here to see you. Hello, Emily. I'm Dr. Winters. How are you feeling today? Okay. That's good. Emily, I just want to ask you a few questions. Is that okay with you? Okay. Do you know why you're here? No. Do you remember what happened before you came to this hospital? Yes. Would you like to tell me what happened? No. What are you drawing? A story. What's it about? Bad people. Can you tell me what happens in the story? Okay, but you have to promise not to tell anyone. My lips are sealed. That's me tied up. I can't move my arms because they put me in a special jacket. Don't worry, I'm not always wearing it. I used to live in a house with my mommy and daddy. My grandpa was rich, so we had a really cool house. My mom and dad were very happy. That was them before I was born. And that's them on vacation. I hope to grow up to be as pretty as my mom. But then one day, when I was really little, my mom got into a car crash. My dad said she went to heaven, but I didn't believe in heaven. Why would she go there and leave me here? It was just my dad and me for a while, until an angel came to visit. She told me that demons are coming. She said I would have to fight these demons to save me and my dad. Then the angel said the worst demons are the ones that are disguised. They look like ordinary people. The angel gave me a special gift to see these demons. She told me that the demons will look like a woman, and that they will come after my dad. It was my job to protect him. That was hard because my dad was lonely and girls seemed to like him a lot. One night, when I was supposed to be in bed, I snuck downstairs to see my dad's girlfriend waiting for him on the couch. She must have been cold because she didn't have much on. My dad keeps talking about how pretty she is and how she's in magazines and stuff. I think she looks like a whore though. The angel told me to go into the kitchen and get a knife. Then the angel told me to kill her. She said the girl was a demon sent from hell and the demon was going to kill everyone. So I did what any good daughter would do. first time so I didn't really know what to do so I just kept cutting. I wanted to send this demon back to hell where it belonged. I was almost there. I remember seeing the demon get weaker. I felt his energy draining from its body. After a long time I finally killed the demon. I made sure the demon was dead too. I think I must have stabbed it like tons of times. The angel told me to go outside and break the back window with a rock, then hide the knife, so I did that as fast as I could. Police were everywhere, and my dad was sad. I felt bad for my dad, but the angel told me I did the right thing. I'm standing outside the home of Carl Ritter, where Mary Miner's body was found. One witness said the body looked like it had been stabbed a hundred times. Mary Miner was a fashion model and was reportedly in a relationship with Carl Ritter. I was hoping it was over and the demons were gone. I just wanted life to go back to normal. A couple months later, we moved into a new home. I didn't notice any demons there, so that was a good sign. My dad would drop me off to school every day. It was a new school and I didn't have any friends to talk to. I was having fun at school until one day I noticed a demon. It wasn't like the ones I saw before. This one was different and meaner. Thankfully, the angel came back and gave me the courage to keep fighting. My teacher started to hang around my dad a lot. She was very nice to me, so we became friends. She would take me out for dessert on weekends. That was a lot of fun. But one day, the angel came to me and told me that I'd been tricked by a demon. My teacher was a demon and I didn't even notice. How could I have been so stupid? She was always touching my dad in places only grown-ups touch. The angel was right. My teacher's an evil slut. The angel told me I had to get rid of the demon before it got my dad into bed. 
The angel said I had to do it after school when all the other kids were gone. So one day, I went to school with my knife in my backpack. I waited until all the students were gone. I was just doing what the angel told me to do. I was trying to protect my dad. much stronger than the last. I was very scared. The demon's eyes looked scared too, but beneath the body was pure evil. I could tell it wasn't really scared. I remember that moment, that moment right before I made the final blow. When I killed this demon, I felt a lot different than when I killed the first demon. It felt good to kill this one, because I knew this one was really, really bad. The angel didn't help me clean up this time. I had to do it all by myself. It's okay, because I knew what to do so I wouldn't get in trouble. It's weird, because later that night, the police came to take my dad away. I don't know why they keep wanting to see him. I'm standing in front of Franklin Elementary School, where the body of Karen O'Dell was found. Officer Lisa Neely described the crime scene as a nightmare too gruesome for words. Carl Ritter has been taken into custody for questioning. I knew my dad didn't do anything, but I still didn't get to see him until the next day. My dad spent a lot of time at the police station after that. I would sometimes go with him or stay at home with the babysitter. I would tell the babysitter about the angel and demons sometimes, but she didn't seem to care. The babysitter was my only friend, really. She would take me to places to get candy and stuff. That was fun. She was really pretty too. She kind of looks like my mom. One night she told me a ghost story. Somehow the demons heard it too and they started to send their own ghosts after me. The angel told me not to worry about the ghosts. I can get rid of ghosts with demon blood. I just had to avoid the ghosts until I can find some demon blood. The angel helped me avoid them too. She's nice that way. One night, the angel came down and told me all about the demons from hell. She told me the devil wants to walk the earth, but the angels won't let him. She said my dad had special blood, and if I was ever to have a brother, then my brother would be the devil. You see, the devil has sent his demons to make a baby with my dad, so he can walk the earth. I thought I got all the demons, but it turns out there's another. This demon was disguised as a police lady, but she didn't look like a police lady to me. She was always with my dad, but never around my house. I think she took him to places to do their grown-up stuff. Late one night, the police lady was downstairs in the TV room arguing with my dad. They were talking about some kind of test and said something about it being positive. I'm not really sure what they were talking about. The angel told me I didn't have much time and I had to kill that demon tonight. The angel told me if I didn't, the angel would be forced to kill everyone. So I got my knife, but I was so tired from avoiding ghosts, I didn't think I could do it. So the angel gave me the power to heal myself. I can't use it often, but when I do, I feel a lot better. I snuck outside without my dad knowing and waited for the demon in the backseat of its car. The angel told me to be careful of this one, because it had powerful weapons. I just wanted these demons to go away forever. I was tired, I wanted to sleep. Why wouldn't they just leave me alone? Leave my fucking dad alone already. <sighs> Don't worry, it has a happy ending, I promise.